1984, the world was introduced to something that became a huge part of pop culture in the time, and that being the movie Ghostbusters. I don't believe I need to go into any detail on the stars, or the film itself, or even the legacy that followed. I'm just here to talk about the video games. You might remember me mentioning a while back during a top 10 video I did some time ago, under the influence of a couple too many Rollin' Rocks, that the NES version of the game isn't very good. It's basically a port of the Commodore 64 game to the NES. Well, I never played the Commodore 64 version. I don't know if it's as broken as the NES. I played the hell out of the 2600 version, which is what I'd like to talk about here. I have a lot of nostalgia for this version of Ghostbusters. I was a huge fan of the movie and the cartoon, and being able to play a game based on it was an awesome thing. However, a lot of people roll their eyes at the thought of an Activision Ghostbusters game. If the mass hatred for this game was represented by this Twinkie, it would be about 35 feet long and weigh approximately 600 pounds. It's pretty advanced for an Atari 2600 game. They really managed to get a whole hell of a lot with what they had to work with. Can't think of any other 2600 game that had a soundtrack running throughout the game. Also can't think of another game where the re which used the reset and the difficulty switches. As for the rest of the gameplay, you can't really aim your neutrino streams, and you get, don't get any messages telling you what to do at certain points. But you can still have fun with the game. Aside from knowing certain things, it's all pretty intuitive. Graphically, it's just an Atari 2600 game, and this is about as good as they get. You might be seeing this uh, blue label and think to yourself, what's up with that? Well, at certain points in time, Activision used white, black, or even blue labels to cut costs instead of the uh, pictured labels that uh, you more commonly see. These are a little bit more rare, however, there's not really any difference value-wise. There have also been a number of other Ghostbusters games over the years, varying in quality levels. Here are a couple examples. Hope you've enjoyed this review. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Not bad. <laughs> I've not one of these in years. <laughs>